So on the switch outlet, this is okay. So we've taken the tab off, so these two are isolated. But when we flip it over to this side, we'll see that the neutral side, also the tab has been removed. This is not okay. This is what's causing the problem. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Hi, this is Farshid with another video just for you. Today, I want to talk about switched outlets. Really, there's nothing complicated about the switched outlets. However, if they're installed incorrectly, they'll give you some uh, trouble. And you'll see later on in this video how I used uh, some troubleshooting techniques to identify an outlet in this particular case, a switched outlet that was installed incorrectly and it was causing problems with the other outlets in the circuit. So here's the um, basics of a switched outlet. We have our line that comes in from the breaker, neutral and the ground. These three legs are coming from our breaker box. First stop, we're making a stop at our switch. And at the same time, we take that same line and feed it to, let's say in this case, our outlet. So here's where the difference comes in between a regular outlet and a switched outlet. When you're looking at it from the front, physically it looks the same. However, it's been altered. And I'll show you what I mean by that. When we flip this outlet to the side, we'll see that these two screw terminals are connected to each other. They're shorted together by this tab here. And that's intentional. That tab is there for the end user, for the electrician to convert this outlet from a standard outlet to a switch outlet. What do I mean by that? If we take that outlet and cut this tab, so there's an isolation between this terminal and the terminal below it, now we can do two different things with this outlet. We can have one side of it that's on all the time, coming from our line. Second side of it, which is in this case the upper one, a switched outlet, which comes from the switch. And in most cases, in US, that line is a red wire. So by just taking this out, cutting this tab off, so these two outlets on the hot side are isolated from each other. And now we have two outlets in one duplex body where we can use one side of it so it's on all the time. The other side of it, that's on whenever we want it to come on. And this is typically used in homes where, let's say in the living room, you don't have a light on the ceiling and you wanna have a lamp attached to an outlet. And as you walk in to the room, you flip the switch on and the lamp goes on. So again, you'll see how if these outlets are modified and then installed incorrectly, how it could create problems. Also, there are times where one switch controls multiple switch outlets, and this would be the case. You'll see it in this video. So the, the same set of wires carry over to the next outlet. outlet that is not working correctly between the black wire and our white wire neutral we're getting 68 volts so now I want to move my neutral to ground side see what I get there Let's see if I can get in there there we go ground side is on between those two I get 120 so that's a pretty good indication that the neutral line is open someplace. Also in this outlet, we have a third leg 
which is red. This is usually an indication that there is a switch involved someplace. So let's check this one out. So we'll go between our red wire and I want to just keep it on the ground. Here we got 120. So that's live. Let's see if we can find the switch, which I cheated earlier. I found the switch. Is this one here? I'm going to turn it off. Go back to our outlet. And there it is. So that's a switched leg here. Let's go back. Since this neutral is disconnected someplace, we're going to get the same result here. I'm going to go turn my switch back on. Here's the switched leg. Oh, meter went off. Let's turn it back on. Same result, right? Between the white neutral and the red, which is our switched. Another indication that this is for a switched outlet. If I look at the outlet that was taken out, assuming it was installed correctly the first time, see these tabs here this is a tab for the neutral which is fine it's connected if we flip it on this side you'll see the tab for our line the tab between the two terminals are disconnected meaning these two are isolated from each other this is your live outlet this is your switched outlet so now let's figure out what's going on with this neutral neutrals are usually jumping from one outlet to the next and uh, We'll just have to troubleshoot from there. So here's a quick check that the neutral is open someplace. This is the outlet that we're having an issue with. And this is an outlet that works. So I'm just borrowing the neutral from that one. And we got our 120. So now we have to find that neutral. There is the switch side. There it is right there. And that's the, that's the black. There's our red. There's the neutral. This is the neutral that goes from here out to there. So there's a disconnect between here and there. And I started also checking other outlets to see perhaps this switch line maybe activates other outlets. And it does activate this outlet. One thing I notice on this outlet is that the neutral has been clipped. So the neutral has also been isolated. And that's a no no. Because whichever one is coming from up here needs to carry through this outlet to the next stop, which my guess is over there or right, i want to make that connection and we'll see okay so we found the problem this is our switch it has a red wire that runs from there to this outlet over here and then from there it goes to this outlet and what we were missing was the neutral so the neutral was actually clipped on this outlet so for right now, I have a jumper on it, on the neutral side. And then if we go back over here, we get the 120 that we expect. There's our 120 off for the unswitched outlet. And then we clip it on to here between the red and the neutral there's the 120 for the switched part of the outlet we'll go back over here turn the switch off our switch outlet over here turns off and so does this one so the problem was that outlet right there, neutral, was clipped. It wasn't coming from there to here.
Okay, so this is the outlet that was not working. It's on right now. I'm going to go to the top, and we'll see the outlet is off right now. And the reason is that this is a switched outlet, and the switch for it is right here. There's the switch. It's on. If you look over there now, the outlet is on. Okay, so that outlet was missing in neutral. And the neutral for that outlet is coming from this outlet over here. So let's take a look at this outlet. We'll take a look at the top. It's on. And we'll flip the switch to the off position. It turns off. So this switch controls the upper outlet in that duplex and controls the upper outlet in that duplex. So what had happened here, when this switch was installed, we can see the tab is removed. So these two outlets are isolated. That's correct. That's on the hot side. Also, the tab was removed right there. You'll see it on the neutral side. That is incorrect because the neutrals are common. So the neutral that came from that switch went to this outlet. It served the outlet, then it got clipped, then it never made it to that outlet over there. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification.